You're live in the alley with Billy Trzinski and Josh Savali. Let's go, Buffalo! Sunday afternoon, we Girls, boys, and bills at the Gillsville Ballet. Prognostications and various jokes. So grab your beer, we're so glad you're here tonight. Joshua Savali, Billy, Billy Trzinski. <laughs> We've just got it all down to a science on prime Perfect. time. Perfect. Did you hear that the Bills play tonight? Oh, I thought they already played. They would have won already, but they won't win until later. That's right, in the rain. <laughs> yeah, in the rain. It is going to rain. If you're in Kansas City watching the show, it's probably raining wherever you are. It's, it's raining here a little bit. Yeah. We got drops. It's like cosmic unity. You know, if it rains there, it rains here. I don't know what that means. E.T. and Elliot had it. Okay. You know, when, they, when he's burping drunk at home and Elliot's all drunk at school? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's cosmic unity. I still don't know what he's talking about. Have you ever seen E.T.? Nope. I didn't watch it all the way through until I was like 12 or 13. I was scared of him for most of my life. Well, who wouldn't be? He's a creepy guy. You don't know. You've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Oh, oh, you got one over very, on me. He's very gentle. Oh. He likes he's... Elliot. Elliot. Anyway... Anywho. Anybody not seen E.T., let us know. We'll reenact it for you. Um, what happened last week after we did the show? The Bills played a game in the rain. Oh, they shut out another team. Oh, you mean the second time a team has shut out another two teams in the first four games since the year 2000? Yes, exactly that. Is that right? The Ravens are the last team to do it. And we're going to do it again tonight. I'm just kidding. We probably won't. We didn't even get a Matt Newton... Wild prognostication, but I think he stole it from him if he had one. That would probably be it. Um, so, yeah, the Bills' defense was just ferocious last week. Four turnovers. Um, Davis Mills for the Texans, who had a real good day today against the Patriots, threw for a whopping 87 yards. That's pretty good, right? For the defense, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, four turnovers. They look great. Hey, and we we extended Teron Johnson this week. I, I saw that. Three-year deal. Eight million? Yeah. Per? Yep. Three-year deal for him. for him. And he's, I mean, he's made the biggest fine. play in our lifetime, perhaps, for the Bills. So that was great. Um, but, yeah, the, the offense looked fine. The running game was pretty nasty last week. They kind of were going on all cylinders. Yeah. It was Offensive, a, defensive, and special teams. Was the special teams good? Yeah. They, well, Bass made a couple field goals. They weren't bad. No, no, they were fine. Um, so, yeah, it's, that, that was great. Now you face the real test. A team that's 2-2. Two and two. <laughs> Yeah, I, oh, isn't that weird to say? Um, a but, team, of course. Well, how many people do you think misspell the word chief? Um, six. Out of every seven. Thirty-seven. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I always spell it because you think chiefs. No, I before E, except after C, except for neighbor and way. Um, or sounded like A, it's neighbor <laughs> and way. W E I no W I E G H. That's tough. I'm telling you. He still doesn't know. No. It. <laughs> so they're off to Kansas City to face the chefs. And <laughs> um, I want to do a little thing with you based on the Bills, based off of last week and going in tonight. It's called Care Don't Care. I'm going to tell you a stupid little stat or a byline, and you're going to tell me whether you care about it or you don't care about it. All right. Okay. Allen right now is the tenth highest rated quarterback in the NFL. Care or don't care. Don't care. Perfect. Why? He's just going to be here. Because, hit. you know what? It doesn't matter. No. I don't care about stats. I no. care about wins and losses. So, we'll I go. know that has something to do with it, how good he is. Right. Okay. I don't care what they think or what they tell us. That's fine. Um, this one does have a little more to do with wins and losses. The last three games have been against Heineke, Jacoby Brissett, and Davis Mills last week, and a shell of Roethlisberger, even though we lost in the first game. But the defense has still been good. Do you care or don't care that the defense may be overhyped based on who they've played the first part of the season before playing Kansas City? I'm in between here. Yeah. We talk about that Washington defense. I guess they're not very good this year because they're playing good teams. Right. Last so, year they played a bunch of bad teams. 
Is it the same for the Bills? I don't know. Right. We'll find, like, tonight's a great, can be a good answer for that. Um, do you care or not care that KC is favored? No. Okay. Even for being a two and two team? Um, two and a half point favorites right now, yeah. I think. Whatever, which is basically even because they're home. Stay tuned. I'll give you my pick later. Ooh. Um, how about the rain? They played in the rain last week. You care or don't care that's going to downpour on a grass field all night. I think it helps that they played in the rain, but they're on a grass field, and that it's going to be sloppy. Yeah. It's I think it's sloppy. interesting going back to the Bills getting other parts of the offense going, such as like the running, the running game, game is a Thanks. nice – I'm not saying just because it's raining means you have to run. We know that's not the case. But for a team that hasn't run the ball exceptionally well in three years – it was. It's good to see them doing that, and Zach Moss just looks like a, a beast out there. He's Single awesome. Terry's fine too, and he, that other guy Josh Allen's not bad either. Well, you know, yeah, they, he, they have they have good rushing. When your quarterback for the season has like nine point six yards a carry, remember the fake? Was it the fake? Yeah. Sna- or the fake QB sneak last On week, and then he down. yeah, and then he just takes off around the edge. Yeah, that was great. You've got him in your back pocket anytime. That always helps. And Dawson Knox, staying hot is yeah. awesome. He's gonna be big today. Yeah. I think. He, Hopefully. Hopefully. Anybody heard anything on Milano? Yes. I was going to add, care or don't care, Milano not playing. Milano's out? Yeah. I care. I care. That's all. I, I do. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's had a great year. Eh? He's our best linebacker. Yep. And, you know. So, but. and he, he'd be the guy that you could hope knock the likes of Travis Kelsey off their routes. Yeah. But, I mean, they played three quarters without him last week. Against, I know it, yeah. it was Houston, but we'll see. Um, so that's interesting, but we got to deal with it. They got to, they got to buck up and Next deal with it. Next man up. Next man up. Who could be us? Right. Billy Ribby's there. It might be Billy Ribby. I hope they not. They got to put him in the game. I hope. Not. <laughs> why not? You know why? <laughs> it would be, be top notch, Billy. If you're watching, top notch. It's a fissile. <laughs> it's a fissile that we're done talking about last week. We're going to stay focused on tonight. So we'd like to officially announce. What's going on right now? It's time. For Jives with Jimmer? For Jives with, with Jimmer! It's time for Jives with Jimmer. He's a pretty smart guy. Guys. <laughs> Before we get to the Kansas City Chiefs, oh, oh, I do have to tell you, I've never seen ET either. What? Oh my! <laughs> never. The crowd is flabbergasted. Wow. People are spitting out their <laughs> drinks. They're shutting the program off. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Never wow. seen ET. You don't strike me as an ET kind of guy, anyway. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Cheech and Chong and they had E.T.? Eddie Torres. <laughs> no. I love it. E- I've seen the Cheech and Chong movies, but. E.T. also stood for something else other than Eddie Torres, but we're not going to say what it was. All Anyways, right. getting out to Kansas City. Yeah. Kansas City, what's the first thing you think of? Dynamic offense. I think a barbecue. Well, I'm talking football-wise, oh, okay. football-wise. Uh, Let's stick with the Chiefs. Glad you cleared that up. <laughs> <laughs> Leading the way, quarterback Patrick Mahomes. 2017 first-round Kansas City draft pick. 2018 throws 50 touchdown passes, named first-team All-Pro and NFL MVP. Not 2019 bad. takes Kansas City to the Super Bowl championship, named Super Bowl MVP. Ah, decent. Not bad. Yeah, once again. <laughs> Last season, took him back to the Super Bowl, although... In a losing effort to Tampa Bay. Where'd they score nine points? Yeah, it's like 31 to nine. Yeah. Oof. He comes into week five, leading the league with 14 touchdown passes. Obviously, that is be- uh, before all of today's action. I know Tom Brady threw for like five. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's playing the Dolphins. <laughs> yeah. Oof. And Mahomes has won 40 games in 50 starts. Wow. That is the fastest to 40 wins for a quarterback in a career. He is tied with Kenny Stabler from the old Oakland Raiders in the 70s as wow. the only players to ever do that. What? Wasn't there something before they lost to the Chargers a couple weeks ago? He hadn't lost in, in September, in period. In September, right. at all. Exactly. And they've never, what's the, and I'm not, I'm not trying to hijack, it's just one other one that came to mind. He had never thrown an interception and in September. This doesn't have to do with September. They've never had to play an away playoff game except for the Super Bowl. 
All his yeah. playoff games have been at home. Yep. Except for the, the Super Bowls. That's incredible. And that like, was really, in a way, Super Bowl for him. Like, he, because Tampa Bay was home team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. That's insane. Well, you also got wide receiver Tyreek Hill. In his career, 62 touchdowns in 78 games, 35 of those 62 from 30 yards or longer. Holy shnikes. Comes in today with 30 catches on the year for 453 yards and four touchdowns. Tight end, you got our all-world tight end, Travis Kelsey. Boo! Six-time Pro Bowler, three-time first-team All-Pro. He holds the NFL record for most consecutive seasons with 1,000 yards receiving for a tight end. He did it five years. Plus, he holds a single-season record for most receiving yards by a tight end, 1,416. He's a jerk. For a tight end. Too. Just saying. Well, he, he, <laughs> I wish he was on our team. Yeah, oh, but who doesn't? You. All right, I wish he was not on your team. Got me on that. I wish he was on my team. Oh. <laughs> now the running game. Not as dynamic, but should be noted that running back Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Hilaire. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Hilaire. Has rushed for, Stewart. <laughs> oh. He has rushed for over 100 yards past two games. Ooh. So with all that being said, go on. Why do they come in today 2-2, two and two, last place in the AFC West, not only that, coming into last week's game, record of one and two and under 500 for the first time since they were four and five in 2015. Because they've given up 5,000 points in the first four games of the year. Maybe not that many, but you're it's close. pretty yeah. well close. I know it's close. <laughs> Offense averages 31 and a half points per game, second best, tied with Buffalo. Mm -hmm. Defense, second worst as they allow. 437.8 yards per game to opposing offenses and 31.3 points per game against them. That's So second best offense, second worst defense. That's like you would think of the lower tier teams in the NFL having defenses like that. That sounds like a 500 team. You know, with those. Well, basically, well, yeah. they are. It's a wash for everything. Yeah. Hang on. Quiet down, truck. <laughs> I got grapes to haul. Now, last week's game against Philadelphia, pretty good example of that type of balance that they have. In that game, Patrick Mahomes threw for five touchdown passes. Kansas City put up 471 yards of offense. You would think with that, it'd be a Kansas City blowout. Kansas City did win the game, score was 42-30, but you could say it should have been a lot closer because in that game, Philadelphia had three touchdowns negated by penalties and had to settle for field goals. So they scored 30 points, take away the three field goals, that's nine points, 21, add three touchdowns, add 21 to that, 42, 42. You guys following along? Ah, yeah, yeah, I'm still on. I think Josh's hair is exploding, though. I'm very good at math. I, I followed that the whole way. Yes, I knew you would. That was easy. Now, Kansas City had 471 total yards of offense in that game. Philadelphia, you don't think of them as an offensive uh, powerhouse. They had 461 yards. Wow. Yes. And Jalen Hurts threw for 357 yards against Kansas City. So Isn't the red zone defense pretty poor as well? Yeah, I think they were fifth worst last yeah. year. Uh, well, they just they're not a good defensive team. No, overall. They're playing right. a bad offensive team from what I from what I see. I've seen the Eagles play, and they were not good. They like, you don't looking. think offensive fireworks with the right. Eagles? Right, yeah. Now, with all that offense in that game, it's interesting to note, 932 total yards, punters had the night off. Neither team punted whatsoever in that game. A no-punt game! No punt, only the fourth time in NFL history that that's just happened. Great. What's the best no-punt game ever? Bill's 49ers. It was. That was back in the 80s, I believe? No, 90s. 90s? No, in the, in the, in the prime. Kelly days? Yeah, you're right, yeah. you're right. The no, it was, I think it was the first no-punt game. Except for when there was no punting. Of course. <laughs> That'd be awkward. <laughs> Why are you guys punching? You're not allowed to. I know. What are you doing? We're going to try something different here. Ray Guy is back here. Now, the defense is hoping to get some reinforcements. This is as starting defensive end Frank Clark and linebacker Willie Gay, who have both missed the past couple of games, are supposed to be back playing tonight. However, their best defensive player, defensive end Chris Jones, is questionable with a wrist injury. He's out. out, definitely out. He's, He's out. out. He's out. Uh, should be noted that KC signed wide receiver Josh Gordon this past week. 
There's talk, is he gonna play? Are they just gonna do a few plays designed for him? Josh Gordon just finished his sixth suspension, violations of NFL policies. But you gotta remember, he led the league with 1,646 receiving yards in 2015 when he was with the Browns. You have I mean, he, didn't, he only played like 14 games too. Something that, that year, probably, like yeah. he didn't play all 16. Other than your first name, do you have anything other in, in common with him? Josh Gordon? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. I don't think Josh Savali's had any NFL suspensions. Oh. Wow. Well, Check it. Time's coming. Would, yeah. you, would you have some? Just once. <laughs> they, once I was kicked out of an NFL game. Well. For streaking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> he was kicked out, though. Yeah, not kidding about that part. <laughs> Past couple weeks, we mentioned that Bills coach Sean McDermott served under Andy Reid with Washington coach Ron Rivera, Houston coach David Culley. Mm -hmm. Now he gets Andy Reid in the flesh this game. Last week, it was Randy, Andy Reid's 100th win with Kansas City, making him the only head coach in league history to win 100 more games with two teams. He won 140 with Philly. How many with Philly? 140. Wow. Well, they went to, didn't they go to five straight NFC title games at one point? A lot. I yeah, it does, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> All right, all time. The Bills lead the series 26, 23, and one. There was one tie with that. Do you know when that was, Jimmer? <laughs> do you, Josh? Well, as a matter of fact, I do. It was <laughs> September 27th, 22nd, excuse me, 1963. What was the score? I think it was 27 to 27. Did you watch that game? It was a great game. <laughs> I didn't watch it. I wasn't born. Yet. <laughs> Fair but enough. I heard it was a great game. Good deal. <laughs> Go throw some numbers at you. I'll catch them. All right. Kansas City <laughs> has won five of the last six. However, Kansas City's last eight games at home, they are one in seven against the spread. Then here's a good one for you. Since Sean McDermott has been head coach for Buffalo, Anytime the Bills score 35 points or more, they scored 40 last week. The following game, the Bills are 8-1 and one straight up and against the spread. Oh, Ooh, I like that. Decent. I'll take it. And that's all I got for the Chiefs for today. Hey, all right. Good job, Jimmer. Thank all right. you, Jimmer. Why even play the game if that's the yeah. stats? <laughs> yep. We well, just... I think the outcome of tonight's game is going to have nothing to do with KC's alma mater. Ready, uh -oh. Jimmer? Sure. All right. Patrick Mahomes. Texas Tech. Okay. Easy peasy, right? How about Travis Kelsey? Cincinnati? Ooh, two for two. Wow. The Honey Badger. LSU. That's easy one. Uh, oh, oh, that's easy, huh? <laughs> How about Tyreek Hill? It's not Alabama, but it's like a directional Alabama, like east, north, south Alabama. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, what's your final answer? Not Alabama, but like a directional east-west. <laughs> he gets 75% of a point. It is West Alabama. Well, there you go. And Mikol Hardman. Mississippi? <laughs> of course he went to Georgia, Jimmer, ah, you silly close. goose. Well, that was good, good enough, enough for me. Hey. hey, all right. Thank you, Jimmer. Good job, Jimmer. He's... I think we should have got one of the offensive linemen on that. On the yeah. alma mater? Yeah. Because he's, he's too that. good. I yeah. know, probably. You're right. And I gave him all the stars, too. He's He got a couple good ones the other day. Yeah, I, I knew one or two of those. I knew Matteo. I just yeah. like the, nick, the nickname Honey Badger. It's cool. I hope we kill him today. Not it, kill him. You know. Well, then do what to him? I hope Diggs has a day with him. Yeah. Well, anybody. I hope everybody does. Cool. Whoever recovers. Well, there's going to be a lot of questions. There are a lot of questions going in this game. And I feel, what does the world need now but more questions? Oh, how about <laughs> some answers as well? Oh, you, I want some answers. You may call this a Q&A. With Dubla. Hey! It's nice. Are you ready to play with Double A? Hi, Aaron. Double A. Ah. Hi, guys. How are we doing? I'm glad you got your jersey. I, it, was, it was a trip. Special trip. It was a juicy burger trip. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, my dad. 
<laughs> Yay! Did they buy? Uh, no, I bought because they drove. Wow, well, good. Yeah. I, yes. I am a good son sometimes. Uh, so I do have some questions for you. Oh. Uh, Who'd have thought? This one's actually just going to be one question that we're going to use for several things. Ooh. So Multi tool. We're, we're four weeks in, and I want to get your guys' opinion on the new people that are on the bill. Did you say new or nude? New. <laughs> Both. Uh, Any new nude people. So I'm going to give you one of the guys' names, and I want you to tell me what animal they represent to you, whether real or fiction. Oh. And then explain why you have chosen that animal. <laughs> okay. This is there. This is First one. That's why Rousseau. It's huh? Rousseau. What oh. animal is Rousseau? Kevin, the bird from Up. <laughs> That's what he looks like. And he's got like the... <laughs> and then he's fast. You know, he, beep, he disappears. And he's just a cool, colorful guy. I'm going with Kevin, the bird from Up. I don't know, man. You happy with that one, or you want to uh, <laughs> chime in on that? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you answer the next one first. All right. How about Boogie Basham? Go ahead. <laughs> A grizzly bear. He's agile. He can do multiple things, as Basham can play special teams, defensive end, and he just looks kind of mean. And I think a grizzly bear is kind of mean looking. That's good. <laughs> That's good. How about uh, Emmanuel Sanders? Don't let me take this one. Come on, that's an easy one. You got it. I mean, it's an easy one. Yeah, it's an easy one. Are you going to read our minds? Yes, I've got it. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. I really threw you a curveball, didn't I? You were not expecting these questions, were you? No. <laughs> He's so jittery, he keeps opening and closing his phone case. <laughs> Emmanuel Sanders. I'll compare him to a deer. I like that. Like, he is a you know, long, he's open, he's long stride. I like it. Prancer. I like it. Very good. How Prancer. about Mitchell Trubisky? He, I'm going to call him a bear just because ah! he came from the bears. <laughs> All I can think about now is that episode of The Simpsons when they, they've got the circus and the, there's Ben, the bear that rides the bicycle in the circles, and then he starts attacking the camera people. And like, Ben, no! And they cut technical difficulties. Oh. Hey, how, about, how about the offensive tackle, Doyle? Doyle or Spencer Brown? We can do either if you want. The abominable snowman. Yes. Because he's so gigantic. He's just a big man. Was it Spencer Brown, the one that, when the the player for the Texans last week was, like, standing next to him and was talking smack to him? Yeah, and Spencer Brown was doing this over him, like, I can't see you. <laughs> I didn't see. I was looking for that video. Oh, it's pretty it. good. So, in, in all seriousness, though, uh, which animal is it? <laughs> is, is, there, is there one of those guys that's really stood out to you that... Um, you think has really helped this team more than the rest? Or is there two of them that you think um, uh, ha have become important to this team? Sanders and Rousseau, I think, would be my two I, most important. I think everybody's played a, a decent them. role. Yeah, All of them. They've, yep. all, been, they've all stepped up, we, it seems. We had kind of had to wait for Sanders, but then in the last couple and games. Boogie. Yeah. You know, Boogie didn't play the first two games. Yep. But he had a sack a last sack week. last yep. week. Yep. And Rousseau, I think, Rousseau, the emergence of Epinesa. Was Epinesa playing then? Uh, yep. He is in? Because yep. he had a toe injury. Yeah, no. Um, I don't remember. It, oh, Butler's the, the other D lineman out. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. No, um, I think that, yeah, I, I agree. I think they've, they've, they've all, all stepped in. Yeah, yeah. They've all made impact. Uh, a, especially Trubisky in cleanup duty. Well, he had more passing, as many passing yards as the Bears or whatever it was <laughs> two weeks ago. Oh. Well, that's good for me. Hey, all right. Give it up for Aaron, everybody. Hey. So. If anyone gets any of these wrong. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm going to pull up the, the scoreboard right now. Games in action and whatnot. So, I, I think I, I'm perfect, if I remember correctly. From the week before? No, this week. Oh, oh, oh. Just in general. 
Well, oh! Wow. That's cute. The Chargers are winning. 47-42 with 20 seconds left. And have, the Browns have the ball, fourth down. Oh, my. So that's going on right now. Yep. we got Chicago, the Bears leading the, the Raiders. Uh, Peter Rin's playing. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, really? Yeah. Of, oh. of Buffalo Bills fame. Uh, he's very good. Yeah. Oh, According to man. Matt. <laughs> That's Matt's favorite him quarterback. And, him and Jeff Toole might as well be holding hands as far as Matt's concerned. Matt, what's your wild prognostication? Call me. i got to get this on the air. Might um, not be as good as I, I shutting out the Chiefs, to, though. I don't want to hear it. I think, I think he said 42-17. All tied up? Uh, <laughs> with zero rushing yards. Really? Yep. That's That'd be well. fairly impressive. It's not what he said, but go with it. Yeah. So who plays tomorrow night? Colts. Colts and Baltimore. 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 Jeremy, got any info on that one? Yeah, I do. Colts are getting six and a half, uh, over and under 46 and a half. I just don't think Indianapolis can keep up with it. Baltimore. The game in Baltimore? Yes. Yeah. I, 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 it's got to be Baltimore. Right? Indy sucks. I mean, yeah. do, does he have ankles yet? No. It goes right from knee to foot. It's <laughs> insane. It's got to travel down to his big toe. <laughs> Oh, no. All right. Jimmer, what's the line on the Bills-Chiefs game? The line is Buffalo is getting two and a half. Okay. Interesting that when the line opened up earlier in the week, it was Kansas City giving three and a half. So the line's gone down. Uh, over and under is 56 and a half. I wonder if that line would have been different if we knew Milano was going to be out all week. Does it mean it going down it because really everybody's change. picking Chiefs? No, people no. are picking Buffalo. Everybody's, everybody's picking on Buffalo, Buffalo. Yes. so it's the yeah. other way around. Yep. The over-under is interesting. Would anybody take that over-under? I mean, after last year's games being kind of relatively low scoring. With, with the rain and the weather? Ah, I, don't know, the I don't know what to expect. You right. got to take the under. I, I mean, I, I think you have to assume if it's as bad as they say it's going to be, I, it's going to be a lot of running, I think. The thing that scares me about Kansas City is it just doesn't, seem to matter like they could be playing on the moon and they're still going to score 32 points i think next year they do play on the moon do they is that they're supplanting the new the london uh, game yeah. with it sorry Stuart. oh <laughs> timber why didn't you go to london to see your jets not worth it this year oh no <laughs> <laughs> you could have just said you were you know you're gonna buy your way behind you know no big deal but no just not worth it oh brother when will it be, though? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Learning experiences. They're getting there. They're getting there. Oh, I mean, Wilson God. didn't look that bad last week. I don't know if that'll happen to him in the first half this week. <laughs> oh, yeah, the first half they were no shows. It was, it was not good this week. No. Any other 1 o'clock games either surprise you guys or there were any interest today? Other than Green Bay and Cincinnati missing every Miss field, field goal. goal fest. I mean, that, that game was insane. Yeah. I. I don't think I've ever seen five missed field goals inside of two minutes. I took two naps during that game. <laughs> <laughs> he was a perfect one. He could have called that one a tie and he'd been damn close. Because well, they there was a two-minute warning when CBS cut away from the game to give us Dallas and the Giants. How thank, dumb is that? Thank God for that. I, I, I always love missing that. Uh, I always love how yeah. it's America's game of the week, the Cowboys and the Giants. Oh, again, weird. Yeah. Who gives a... I'm sorry, Giants and Cowboys fans, but they for them to promote it like that. And the worst I'm part not about sorry for either of you no. fans. <laughs> the worst part about watching either any games on Fox is you have to see the promos for the awful Fox shows. Yeah. Yes. So when there's like some AI singer show on after the mask singer, mm -hmm. boy, we gotta know about it ten times. New Simpsons today though. The Treehouse of Horror is thirty two. Yeah. Yeah. That's kinda random that we do that. Uh, yep, I didn't mind seeing that. <laughs> I'm not oh, good. watch it because I'll be in bed. <laughs> Tonight? I, yeah, I got to work tomorrow at noon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Laugh it off. Thanks a lot, Matt. <laughs> oh, I hope he says, I hope he calls you at 7 o'clock repeatedly. Not to go to work, just calls you repeatedly. <laughs> That's uh, my answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, back to football. Oh, back to the topic. <laughs> Sorry, gotta, we never get off topic at any point. Um... So, Jim, let's let's do the Bills Chiefs. All right. Well, before just go ahead. The last three Sunday night games have been decided by two points or less. For tonight's game, the way I look at it, even though they're scoring the same amount of points per game, Kansas City and Buffalo, I look at Kansas City's offenses here, mm -hmm. Buffalo's offenses here. Defensively, I look at it, Buffalo's defenses here, Kansas City's defenses down here. Yeah. Home field advantage is going to play a part. But I like Buffalo. 
I'm going to go 38-31, even in the elements. Wow. Cool. And who do you think, before we go on, we can do a little bit of like what we did last year. Um, give me a player from each team that is going to, you know, like what do we call it, X Factor or whatever, off the top of your head, who you think? Travis Kelsey. Yeah. Always. He always has a good game against Buffalo. Yeah. Bills. Because he's on my fantasy team, I need the points. Cole Beasley. Oh! Do something, finally. Please. Hey, don't worry. They won't be booing him in Kansas City. <laughs> uh, they won't be Beasley. Not booing yeah. him. Breezley. <laughs> okay, Aaron, what do you got for us? Uh, I got a close one as well. Uh, I'm going to go 27-24. The elements play a big factor in it. Uh, a lot of running. Uh, I think it's a lair, and I think it's Moss, and those two guys are putting up numbers. Yeah. Exp- oh, so Alaire's and Moss are you guys? Yep. Josh, what do you think? I didn't even think about this. All right, I'll, <laughs> want me to go? Yeah. Okay. The Bills are going to win. Josh, what do you think? That's what I think. Okay. <laughs> no, um, I think a lot, like, I like to combine what you guys said as far as, like, the score being a little bit lower because of the weather, but... Yes, I think the, the Chiefs' offense is a step ahead of the Bills. I think the Bills' defense is miles ahead of the Chiefs' defense. So I still think Kansas City is going to get their points. I'm looking like the 30-27 to 27 kind of game. I mean, of course, we're all going to call it tight because you expect it to be tight. Yep, two of the top offenses in the NFL. I think the Bills eke it out. Like, this is the most faith I've had them. I, didn't, I wasn't this confident in either game last year for the Bills, especially with Kansas City's defense struggling, than I am now for the Bills Prime time on the road. Let's go have some fun. I think it's going to be great. I got the Bills winning, but I think it's just going to be exactly what we hoped for. Bills 12, Kansas City 11. It's going nice. to be a weird scoring mix here. That might be a score of Gami, 12 11. I don't know if that's ever happened. Think so? Sounds like a good day from Tyler Bass then. Ooh, B Man. Oh, no. Oh, oh there it is. Oh. Six safeties. Six safeties. There it is. <laughs> How else did you think they were going to score? <laughs> right? I mean, this should be great. It's it's when the schedule came Sunday out. It's like night. here we go, KC again on the road in prime time. And can I tell you how much I hate night games again? I tell you what, we're getting too old for this. You're gonna hate it a little less because you're only working a half day starting at noon tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to hate it all the way, buddy. All the way. Don't call me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 7 o'clock. Oh, Josh, this is Matt. <laughs> Please come to work. <laughs> that's, Matt that's never a, sounds like that's that. That's always how he sounds, yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> so whatever you're doing tonight, enjoy your garbage plates, your pizza and wings, your Let's beer. Let's go Bills. Let's just have a great night. Go team. Let's do it. All right. Woo!